All right, uh, inside of the week, Craig, they ask you answer. And so I, I've been listening to the audiobook and the revised version. And I know you've read the book, but you know what? I think every business needs to read or listen to this book. I, I agree. And you know why? Because it's one of the things that after you read it, you go, yeah, of course, this is so obvious. And as I've mentioned uh, in the show notes, it's like, that's a good sign for me. When you look at something in hindsight, go, yeah, of course, that's obvious. It probably indicates a foundation of truth to it. And I think that is the case of the book. By the way, if you read the original version, make sure you get the revised version, which came out, I don't know, a couple of years ago. But I'd read the first one when it first came out. And then the revised version I felt was um, really uh, a good, a worthy revision. Uh, but look, there's a little process that highlights and you've been doing this. Let's break it down, Anne. Yeah. So let's think about some simple business process, right? So one of the things that we were discussing with customers is over the next month, make a list of every question you're asked by prospects and customers. So this could be technical, it could be sales related, it could be operations related or service related. Note them down in a spreadsheet or a document that everyone has access to. At the end of the month, then categorize it by marketing, sales, customer service. So we now know where it falls into. Third thing, mark the quick questions that are commonly asked and candidates can document the answer. And I would actually make this a company-wide thing that people participate in. So it's not just marketing or sales, but everybody participates. Um, Then write a simple knowledge base article for each of these questions. And remember, getting it done is better than perfect. So get a start on that and then to really help people in the business is create snippets and templates for these questions that link through to knowledge base articles where people can easily share the answers to the questions that people are having so you you can do that now the follow-on from this is you could then create a bot i think we might have that in the show notes is to create a bot and then get people interacting with that to get the answers that they need But here are the big benefits, right? Think about your search optimization, the articles that you'll rank for and how competitive it is in your industry. But you're putting more content. So I often say it's it's a digital asset, right, Craig? We talked about this. We're building digital assets. The better you can do this, the better the longevity is of your business and the ability to draw people in. It also creates efficiency for your team because you're saving time in those responses. Like... I just couldn't imagine doing this, talking about the same thing over and over again and everybody making their own flavor and version of it. And then the next thing is effectiveness. Your prospects and customers get to know you better and it becomes a source of knowledge and value to them. So I know Craig has often said he looks and when he tries a product out, he looks at the knowledge base. He reads everything in there. How does it operate? What does it work? What are the things you need to look out for? And that kind of helps him make up his mind about buying a particular product. So think of that in your business. I, I want to make a comment about these benefits. And and by the way, we should just kind of to summarize from the book, there's a whole bunch of ideas. But one of the ideas is, yep, the title is They Ask, You Answer. It's kind of like customers have questions, just answer the questions. So it, it's kind of obvious, but then he breaks it down into, yep, yeah, here's to go about it. He has a whole bunch around video marketing, a whole bunch of other things, but this is just one of the uh, kind of topics he covers. But there's those three benefits you mentioned, SEO benefits, uh, efficiency and effectiveness. I want to say the first one, SEO benefits, is overplayed because if you're in a competitive industry, sure, you'll create a knowledge base. You're not going to rank for it, frankly. Competitive, someone else is already ranking for it, so don't focus on that. Uh, Yeah, sure, it's useful and you might get a bit of extra traffic. That's not the benefit. The benefit is the second two. Efficiency, because your team is more efficient and consistent. So if we've got an answer for that, yep, here it is. And then effectiveness, as you said, the customers just get a much better experience. It's about the value you give your customers. And of course, then uh, you're providing a premium service at that point. So look, Impact Plus have a whole program around this and training programs. So we've got a link to that. Uh, But yeah, answer all the questions. There you go.